All right. Morning, class. Are you guys here or not? So, I'll definitely need you punya attendance wise lah to ensure that you guys are here. Ikuan aku tengah buat kelas, ikuan tengah buat gila kan. Hello, morning. Are you guys here? Hello, 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 hello. Hi ah. Esther. Are you guys here? Just want to confirm. Apa ikut ni? Terasa macam nak band pula. Ha, uh, ikut lah, ikut lah. Esther, where are the rest? Are they coming? How's your... What we call? Classmate? Or your housemate? Where are they? Are they coming? Okay, so we're going to wait like for another 11 minutes, I guess. Hi, bye. Mendo, no, no, no. Okay. So, hari ni kita akan tengok How to say A class sebab Terpaksa buat online So, basically buat macam ni Lagi senang kot, I guess Hi, Fai, kerja ke tu? Sihat lah, anak macam mana? Dan aku tak bisa. Na 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 na. Hey, please tell me that you guys are here, so that I know you guys are already here, so that I can start the class. Oh, much more easier for me to do this. Good siniante. Okay. So basically, we're going to come out only with chapter eight. Alright, because chapter eight consists of fourteen slides. So. At the end of the what we call lecture, I would like you guys to. I would like you guys to what we call. Um, comment your name there. Comment your comment your that name there so that I know you guys are here lah. Okay, at the end of the class. Okay, so basically today we're going to do chapter eight. Alright, hello Jason, welcome home. So we're going to take you in terms of chapter eight. Alright, regarding manners. Social cultures and cultural tradition. So can I start? Hello, Maverick. All right. 
So basically, we're going to take a look in terms of point number one because wait before I start, are you guys here? Can I start? Oh, should I wait another three minutes because you only have seventy people here? I think you guys have like twenty nine. Hello, Win. Hello, Ming Pei. Hello, Hui Shuang. Hello, 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 hello. So we have seventy. Chiale, how are you? Sinian year, Kayin is here. Okay lah. So I think yeah, uh, we going to start as soon as possible, I guess. Huh? So basically, if we finish early, you guys can turn off this early and then do whatever you're going to do. And then they Hello, Yumi, the class rep. Okay. So basically, uh, you're going to take a look in terms of how to understand manners. What is a social custom and culture tradition? Why in terms of what we call... Uh, Malay, Chinese and Indian have different kind of practices and understanding and belief Alright, so this is the learning account Alright, the learning account, the first one is explain the importance of identity And the second one is to describe the types of social identities lah. This is to understand which part of the identity of people that you should care Which part of the identity people of people that you, you know, should not take for granted and etc And the second part is the types of social identities What makes you a you and what makes what we call um a sara a sara and etc. Okay, the so the first point we're going to take a look in terms of the role of identity. Yeah, all right. Identity development plays a very important role in an individual psychological well-being. This is what makes you as who you are. Uh, this is what makes you are a negative person or a positive person and etc. Basically, coming from where are you coming from and how do you live your life. And in terms of that, as I mentioned previously, we have three elements of that. Different people have different understanding because of different level of age, different level of education, and different level of geographic area. So these three elements makes a Yumi a Yumi and makes a Sara a Sara. Alright, I didn't see Yogis yet. Uh, is Yogis here? Hopefully, is, he is here. Alright. Wayne, where's Yogis? Is he coming? Alright. And to understand this identity, this is the definition of identity as I mentioned to you before. Anything that I highlighted is the key point. But then, it's up to you as long as you can find the key point, alright, related or what is identity, then it's acceptable in terms of your final answer. Right, the first one is an essential aspect for intercultural communication studies due to the process of globalization and armed conflicts, domestic diversity arising from immigration, intercultural marriages, and divergent values ever evolving in the world we live in today. GG ah, uh, always sleeping ah. Uh. Okay lah, later you inform me ah uh, Win. If it's not here, then I'm just going to uh how to say Ma is as absent the class lah. Alright. So basically, this is the reason what make a Chinese in Kelantan compared to a Chinese in Penang are totally different to each other. And this also also makes what the view of how to say, uh European people in terms of Islam in Arabs and Islam in you know. Malaysia is totally different to compare to one another. This what makes the Penang have their traits and this what make how to say in Kelantanis have their traits and etc. So for example that we can see uh, in terms of Malay society understanding when it comes to Kelantan people alright they always close with their their, their people first. Alright. When uh, it's okay, you can as long as you are here. Alright, uh, uh, bye bye. Nanti kita jumpa lagi. Alright, so in terms of this, this is what make a Chinese in let's say balik pulau compared to a Chinese in Tanjung Tokong are uh, different lah. Alright, the way you eat, the way you talk, the way you communicate, the way you perceive thing and as a trap. So, for example, in terms of Wayne, what is love? Basically, you are there doing all the basic things. But in terms of Sarah, what if love? What is love is, uh, you need to do more than what you are supposed to do. Alright, that is what we call a bare minimum or a standard by individual perspective. So that's why in terms of Wayne and in terms of Yumi, what is considered as a good person is different. Alright, okay. So far you guys understand? Can I continue? Hopefully you guys understand. If you don't understand, stop me there and then inform me which part that you guys don't understand. Huh? Alright. Next is how to say a person's self-definition as a separate uh, this is what we call defining identity to define what makes a you a you and what makes a you not a you all right 
The first point is a person's self-definition as a separate and distinct individual behavior, belief, and attitude. Lah. Okay, good, Sumin. <laughs> Chair Yogi, suddenly you sit in front. Lah. Okay. Uh, a selfie would be good, but never mind. Alright. This is what makes how to say um, why in terms of television representation of Malay, of Chinese, Indian, Western people, Black, American, and etc. are different compared to one another. Alright, this one makes you believe that eating by hand is considered for poor people and eating with fork and spoon is considered for, you know, rich people and etc. This one makes you, hi Daniel, <laughs> this one makes you think and believe why or what are the elements that you should have in terms of life. What kind of attire you should wear, what kind of, how to say, perfume you should wear, what kind of hairstyle you should have and etc. Alright, some people they don't care about their look, some people they care about look. So for example, let's say yogis, if you want to go down and go to mini market and etc, maybe you will, be, you will make up as much as possible, I guess. But if you take it in terms of when, wearing shorts, I guess, is the easiest way, how to say, for you to, how to say, yeah? for you to inform people that you are this kind of person and etc. Alright, next is reflective self-conception of self-image that we each derive from our family, gender, cultural, ethnic, and individual socialization process. This is what I mentioned to you before. Alright, what makes you a Chinese in Penang is different compared to a Chinese in Kelantan. Or let's say in terms of family members, alright. Let's say you have four siblings but each one of you love different things and etc. This is the thought and the understanding of when I say you everyone have three lifestyle. One, you as a family member, second, you as what you are doing now, I mean occupation and etc. And third, you with your best friend. So how to define identity is basically related to your geographical area. For example, a Penangai at the age of 20 to 25, a Malays, alright, that is living in rural area comparing to those elements of individuals that live in urban area in Kuala Lumpur. You're going to see it differently etc. So for some, for example, huh, in terms of your gish, uh, having like, uh, how you know, a curly hair is considered as a good hair. But probably for Wayne, having like a straight hair or rebonding hair is considered as a good hairstyle. Alright, that makes identities. Alright, that makes how you see things according to what you are supposed to see. Alright, next is identity basically refer to our reflective views of ourselves and other perception of our self image. Lah. You as who you are, as what you want, want you to be. Alright, for you, for example, studying is not good. Studying is a waste of time. Because you know that either you study or not, you will understand things. So that's why we take a look, alright. Maybe yogis, you can take a look in terms of yogis in class. Maybe never listen. Maybe never listen, alright. Never listen at all, play around and etc. But you will never know at home, alright. He's studying like from 12am until 4pm, I guess. I bet it's not going to happen lah, but let's see. Make it an example. Right, in terms of, let's see, uh, Wayne, for example, always listen to class, always do the things that he's supposed to do, but when he go home, he does not study and etc. Because maybe according to Wayne, alright, listening is better than studying. So that's why, how to say, if you take a look, there are some people during your uh, childhood time, primary time, secondary time, they never go to tuition, but they score well. But some never listen in class, but they go to tuition, this call well all right this is basically the understanding of who you are as what you want to be not what so what not society wants you to be all right next is identity basically refer to our reflective views of ourselves and other perception of our self images so this is the reason why people you know listen to other people ask them to be for example let's say yogi you are Single, for example, or yeah, single, you don't care so much what you're going to wear, you don't care so much how your hair going to be, and etc. But when you have a girlfriend, every single thing that your girlfriend asks you to do, you will do. You, you're going to do, you are forced to do because you believe that listening to her is the best thing ever. To have a good relationship, to have like a happy relationship, you must have a happy girlfriend. But maybe in terms of win, all right, let's say in terms of win, all right. He believes that when he is single, he don't need to care all of that. Okay, he don't need to care all of that. But when he already have a girlfriend, he do everything according to what the girlfriend want him to do. 
Okay? So basically, this is why you can take a look in terms of people going to have toxic relationship. Why? Because some people, when they are trying their best to win that someone hard, in terms of their identities, they believe that you have to work hard to get what you have. But when they already have what they have, they don't care about what they have. So that's why your you are single until today. <laughs> I guess so. Hopefully you are not going to be mad. Alright. So this is what makes you as a person lah in terms of the self-concept. Alright. What makes you as who you are. Why you may believe that by waking up 4 a.m. every day in the morning, studying is the best way to ensure that she can score, she can get straight A's and etc. But why? In terms of win. Alright, in terms of win, by waking up late doesn't matter when she when he going to come to class and as he try as long as he come, he listen, he do the things that he supposed to do, he can also become a good student. I'm afraid not lah. I guess lah. I hope lah. Oh, this is fun because I know you guys cannot reply me. You just need to comment, okay? <laughs> okay, so you can take a look in terms of defining identity. So so far, are you guys uh how to say? Able to understand this thing? Able to understand? I mean, is there any part that you guys don't understand? Wake up early in the morning is the best thing lah if you're going to meet your loved one or you have something fun to do. But seeing yogis in class, <laughs> you sure have to think again lah. Okay. Uh, so there's no how to say comment. So basically, I'm, I think that you guys how to say understand this thing. Alright. Next, we're going to take a look in terms of the three categories of identity. Lah. This is what makes a you a you. This is what makes a human a human. Alright. According to Turner, there are three categories of identity classifications. Alright. Thank you, Suyong. So, Alright. The first one is human identities. Perception of self that link you to the rest of humanity. What makes a human different compared to an animal? Or what makes a yogis or an Indian is different in, term, uh, in terms of Chinese. What makes a Chinese that is Christian is different compared to Chinese that is focusing in terms of Buddhist. Alright. This is what makes in terms of your action, your understanding, the way you talk, the way you sit, the way you communicate with people. Alright. is different compared to each other. For example, let's say yogis I need to, to use. It's much more easier using you and etc. Alright. Because according to yogis when it comes to... How to say communicating? Yo, sir. Good morning, sir. What's up, sir? How are you, sir? And etc. For some people, using that kind of salutation or language is considered as rude. Let's say you use that for another lecture, I guess. Maybe the person will not be happy. Alright, we will say to you that that is a bad thing to do. But for some, alright, it doesn't matter what kind of language that you use. Alright. As long as your language sounded respect and you know where's your boundaries, that is acceptable and etc. Alright, this is what makes a human identity. Alright, the understanding of the do's and the don'ts as a human being. Alright, the things that you are supposed to follow and the things that you are not supposed to follow when you are living your life as a human being. So that's why when you are becoming, how to say, an individual compared to an, to a, how to say, to a human being is different. This is basically in terms of personal identity. This is what makes you different. Hi Zenmin. Welcome, welcome. Hi Kevin. Welcome. Alright. So the personal identity makes you as per mentioned before. Alright. The understanding of this defining identities as I per mentioned to you point number two and point number three. This is where you as a human being. <laughs> Hi Jai. Welcome. Uh, Kevin Emma, as long as you in the class and it's okay. Lah. Alright, we continue. Huh? In terms of the personal identity is the part where you as a student, you as a daughter, you as a female, you as a woman, and you as a boyfriend and a husband or a wife. Alright, this is when when you are met towards someone, but when it comes or related to, <laughs> when it related to what we call, uh, everything related to your life, you will change differently. Yeah, Kevin and Chi come see in front. Why are you guys late? Nanda kore. Alright. So your behavior. Why yogis love uh, men? Why women love women? What does a man have that yogi love? But what does a female have that yogi didn't love them and etc. Alright. 
this what makes a personal identity the way you wear sorry the way you walk the the way you how to say live your life uh yeah the life will be on facebook and then i'll record this so that i can upload in google classroom so if you need to refer it then you can refer lah all right hopefully okay so this is personal identity basically related to your behavior wise attitude lifestyle lah all right simple as that social identity is basically related to your geographical area all right so human beings all right human identity is genetic wise personal identity is basically genetic plus geographical area and then the social identity is basically a genetic genetic how to see in front just right you see in front lah <laughs> uh, we should try how to come up with a cross post i guess hopefully this is how to say acceptable all right wait now i need to reply email hey what's that Okay then, I'm replying Dr. Shamsul for right just now. Alright, so in terms of social identities, alright, race, a Malay for example, a Malay in Kelantan and a Malay in Penang, alright, urban area, rural area, that is one perspective. Second perspective, you can take a look in terms of your income, alright, a Malay in rural area that is rich compared to that is poor, your identity is different. How you see life, how you communicate, etc, etc is going to be different. Take a look in terms of, let's say, me lah. Give me as an example lah. I used to live with a budget lifestyle lah. Alright. Five ringgit a day for a food, for example. You just buy the, you know, the gravy, the kuah, the lauk and everything. You go home, then you cook rice and etc. Then you can eat that for one whole day. Alright. Clear? Okay. But when I have money... When I can spend like 100 ringgit a day, I still not going to spend 100 ringgit a day. Alright, that is social identities because you are used to it. Alright, you are used to it. Okay? You make, how to say, spending 100 ringgit a day is like something big even though you can spend 200 ringgit a day and as a drop. Okay? These are the three elements in terms of internal understanding what makes, how to say, human have their identities, what differentiate between human and human. Alright? Okay, next. We're going to take a look in terms of social identity. Yeah. Um, should we have five minutes break? Hi, Supeng. Should we have five minutes break and then we start back? I'm going to give you a break. Are you guys okay or am I going to continue the class so we can finish it as soon as possible? Your kids, class right, respond to me. Alright, so no respond. <laughs> Hi Ben, I see you. Alright. So five minute break, huh? So I'm going to give you intermission. 11.37, we start back. Alright. So, go la buy something, but you don't need to buy because you're at your hostel, alright? Uh, alright, I'm going to pause five minutes. If you have any question, you can ask. Okay, you just push it there so that I can, how to say, question, uh, answer your question. So we pause for a while, uh, intermission 5 minutes. So 11.37, we start back. Huh? Okay. Okay, uh, if you want to finish it as soon as possible, I think we can finish it as soon as possible lah, it will be better. <laughs> okay, okay, come. Alright. Uh, social identities. Alright. Divide it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, if you still remember when I say you have, when you have more than 5, try to remember. How many of these? If you have more than five, how many that you should remember? Yeah. 
Regis, if you have more than five. Dan aku tak bisa. Yogis. Yes, remember five band. Okay, so in terms of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick any one that you want, but for me, the ethnic identity is easy. But some people will hard to say get confused in terms of that. All right. So who need to see in front? Wait, come see in front. You talk so much, ah. Come see in front. Okay. So in terms of racial identity, it's basically genetic wise. Okay, genetic wise. This what makes a you a you. Okay. This what makes a you a you. All right. A Malay. No matter how much you dislike a Malay lifestyle, you still have to be a Malay. All right. No matter how much you hate the lifestyle or the understanding or the practices of Hinduism or Indian people, you still Ah, oh, Hindu people and etc. So that's why in terms of this biological heritage that produces similar identifiable physical characteristic. All right, whereby ethnic is derived from self of shared heritage, history, tradition, values, similar behavior, era of origin, and some instances language. As I mentioned to you before, in terms of Islam, we have four belief. All right, Shafi'i, Maliki, Hambali, and the other one. All right, so the same thing in terms of Christian in Europe compared to Christian in Asian, for example. Christian in Middle Europe compared to Christian in Southern Asian, for example. All right, and in terms of languages and etc. So in terms of Indian and Indian, when they are communicating, is different to each other compared to when you are communicating Indian and Malays. All right, your kind of language is different. Ah, your perspective is different. Your body language is different and etc. Because why it comes from your three elements of life, that is race, ethnicity. And religion plus the three elements of different level of education, how to say geography, key area, and lifestyle. All right. So next is the racial identity. If I'm going too fast, you just inform me because I cannot see your face if you understand or not. Next is racial identity. Race is a social contract arising from efforts to categorize people into different groups. All right. This is what makes an Indian an Indian. This is also what makes an Indian, all right, Brahman and Brahmin is different, right? This is also what makes a Malay Muslim, all right, that living in rural area that is rich and poor are different to each to each other, all right. With intercultural marriages today, genetic intermixing has become more difficult to classify people into races. So this is oh, yogis already go back to sleep ah. All right, never mind. All right, in terms of this. As we mentioned to be for what we call darah campola, where the father coming from different races, while the mother also coming from different races. Example that I can give is my parents lah. My father is Malay, my Chinese, my mother is Chinese lah. So the way we live their life. Uh, hi Emilia, I don't have Facebook, so I use my sister one. Okay, Emilia, later you write your name up after the class end. Ah, this is the understanding of how to say a Hindu Muslim or a Mama, for example. Or a Chinese Malay, for example, live their life differently. All right, we still practicing Islam, for example, but we also practicing the ritual of Chinese, such as Chinese New Year, Sab Gome, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. All right, so this is what make a race race. So that's why we have Baba and Nona lah. All right, next is gender identity. Ah, oh Emilia, come see in front. This is what makes a gender identity where we only have two masculine and femininity. We don't have transvestite. We don't have bapo. We don't have gay. We don't have lesbian and etc. Those kind of thing are interests. It's not gender identity. It's not genetic wise. If you are born as a male, but then you change into a female, you still a male. All right. Your bone is still a male. Your strength is still a male. Your way of thinking is still a male. Doesn't matter how soft you turn, alright. For example, for example, let's say, wait ah, give me one minute. Hi Jane. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, sorry. So, ah, where are we just now? Okay, in terms of gender identity. So that's why if you go to see any public toilet, they don't have for. Transvestite, where a male change into a female and a female change into a male. 
And then this is what is being happening in terms of sports industry where a man change into a female and then compete in Olympic and they won. So that is a problem lah. Okay, so in terms of gender identity, in terms of this subject, we only have two, male and female. That's it. So if you're a male, you have to be a male. Then if you have, a, if you're a female, then you have to be a female. So your geese don't be a female. Okay. Next is national identity. This is where you were born. All right. Good morning, your geese. I'm already continue for the past five minutes already. All right. It is the nation when they were born, and it also be acquired by immigration and naturalization, and more pro pronounced when we are away from our home country. All right. This is where you are, Yogesh. If you're a Malaysian, you're a Malaysian. Doesn't matter if you change becoming an Indonesian. You're still a Malaysian. Your way of lifestyle, your how to say, your action, your behavior wise will still be Malay. You just have to adapt to change to become an Indonesian. Why me? No offense. How should I know, Jai? <laughs> okay, so you can uh, you can acquire this, but still, if you're a Malaysian, you're a Malaysian unless. Alright, you hate Malaysian so much, then you are okay becoming, you know, a German people and etc. Alright, so national identity, I think, is simple lah. <laughs> How to get top fans, I also don't know. Maybe you have to like comment or like often, I guess. I guess, I don't know. Alright, next is regional identity. Okay, this is how to say a geographical area wise. Alright, much more deeper than national identity where the regional identity, this is what make a Penang, a Penang compared, a Penang act compared to a Kedahan. And then in terms of Penang act amongst each other, alright, the regional identity in terms of Balik Pulau people, Northern, uh, how to say Penang and Western Penang, alright, such as Tanjung Tokon, Tanjung Bunga, etc. We have the basic trait, alright, we have the basic trait, alright, where the Penang, must have these elements but a Penang living in Balik Pulau comparing to a Penang living in Tanjung Tokong have different basic elements alright clear so that's why it's not weird if you know any Penang I dislike Nasi Kanda okay dislike because in terms of Balik Pulau they don't have a very good place for Nasi Kanda oh my god for them alright and in terms of what we call I uh, how to say Mainland people, seberang people, alright? They don't have a good nasi kanda place. Come on, live in island. Island is good. Okay? Your guys, you talk too much. See you, friend. Alright. <laughs> alright. The culture, we continue. The culture contrast among this region may be manifested through ethnicity, language, uh, accent, dialect, custom, food, dress of different historical and political legacies. Lah. Alamak. Never mind. Ben, ben don't eat nasi kanda, I think. I know Ben don't eat nasi kanda. Alright. In terms of this, alright. If you're a Malay living in Kelantan, let's say Kota Baru and what else? Ah, Pasemas, for example. You still have the traits of Kelantan people. But you are not the Pasemas people. So that's why people say when you are to say live a life in Alostar compared to live a life in Kulim is totally different. Alright. Alustar is considered as a city but not an advanced developed city. Compared to Kulim, it's still considered as a sub part of rural area. Lah. Come man, let's go in Nasi Kanda. Later after class can. Alright? The way you talk slang, for example, Yogi slang. Hi Joey. Yogi slang comparing to Sarah slang is totally different to one another. Lah. Sarah is like, okay sir, sorry sir. I don't know sir, but in terms of Yogis, what's up sir, good morning sir, and etc, etc. I don't know, he trying to be like a black, a, a black American, I guess. Alright, Organiza organizational identity. Alright, very important to collective, collectivities culture. It refers to a person, organization, affiliation as practicing individualities or collective culture. Alright, hi Joey. Okay, this is the understanding as I mentioned to you before. You have three lifestyle, alright, as an employer or as a student or whatever that you are doing at the current moment. You coming from your racial identity and identity, okay. That is organizational identity. So that's why if you take a look in terms of rich people, alright, 
buying 50 ringgit of magazine is considered cheap comparing to us 50 ringgit we can use it for the next few days oh my god you are poor okay next is personal identity ah this one to simplify is easy lah what makes a band different compared to a yogis joey give me one example what makes a band different compared to yogis come tell me tell me tell me Oh my god, this online class is not fun. I cannot catch out you face to face. Joey, 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 I need an answer. Correct. Yogis is a bit weird, I guess. I mean, he's not weird, but for a normal student, he is weird. Correct, Wayne. Correct, Yogis. Correct. What makes Joey different compared to Yumi? Or, for example, what makes me and Dr. Shamsul is different to one another, for example. What make how to say? Mahade and Najib is different to one another and etc. Alright. So that is a personal identity lah. And this personal identity come from the previous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Come from this any identity, racial identity, gender, national identity and regional identity. Okay. Cyber and fantasy identity. This is basically... Um, Best example, you can take a look in terms of my Facebook page lah. Uh, for some people, my name is stupid. For me, my name is too stupid to not remember. Alright. So, this is the understanding when you play online game or when you are doing your online character. You will create on the things. You will create on the things that you expect you're going to be. That you think you want to do. That you believe that you are supposed to do. But in real life, you cannot do. Alright. For example, in terms of me, let's say I play Ragnarok or I play GTA and etc. Alright. I will put my character with tattoo here, there and etc. But in terms of real life, I cannot do that. Alright. In terms of real life, I cannot do that. Because why my religion forbid me. So that's why. Alright. In terms of video games or any that is related to fantasy things or imagination, you will do the things according to what you want to do. Yogis, don't direct translate my nickname. Or when we go to class, I'll kill you. <laughs> no lah, kidding. Alright, so this is what makes a fantasy. A fantasy that related to your cyber. Alright, centers on character from science fiction, movie, comic books, and anime. Best example that we can see, take a look in terms of your Facebook name lah. Your name is different, but then your Facebook name is different. Or your YouTube name is different. But your real name is different. Hey, Thailand, are you here, Thailand? I cannot see you, Thailand. Thailand food just now. I saw her. Hmm. Never mind. Acquiring and developing identities. According to Think Tomei in 2016, you guys acquire and develop identities through interaction with others in cultural group. So that's why, if you remember on the previous slide, family plays an important part in terms of your basic understanding. Alright, basic understanding what makes a human a human. Sabah Joey, if you want, we go in, I'm going to answer you after the class. Okay? We don't have intermission. Oh, hi Thailand. Yes, we have meaning in terms of that name. Alright. Next is how to say. The initial exposure to your identity came from your family, school, and the media. So that's why, if you realize, alright, in terms of this, okay, oh, cannot, cannot go back. Oh, never mind. Alright, in terms of this, the family part is the basic communication and basic rules that you have to abide before you can go to society. 
Alright, so that's why family plays an important part. And school also plays an important part. Hi, Emilia. Yes, understand. Later, at the end of the class, I would like you to like again the stream and then I would like you to write your name to make sure that you are in the class so that I can update your attendance. Alright. Set how you an individual identify and present yourself. Alright, within the society. So this is the understanding how you and your neighbor are totally different to one another. How you and your roommate are totally different to one another. And how you and your boyfriend are totally related to one another. But I'm sorry lah, Yogi, you don't have a girlfriend, so find new one that you can be in this conversation lah. Eh? Alright. Pioneer model of ethnic identity development. Alright, this is one of the core theory that you need to know. Alright, core theory that you need to know relating to ethnic development. Sorry, ethnicity development. There are three states. Unassuming ethnic identity, ethnic identity search, and ethnic achievement. Alright, the first one, in terms of... Unassuming and the identity, this is when you are still a child or possibly at the age of 9 until 12, I guess, or 1 until 12, I guess. You do not know what your religion is all about. You do not know what your race is all about. You do not know what your society is all about. And you do not know how your family members are going to adapt on things. Alright? So this one makes you learn something. When you learn something, you go to any identity six. So for example, during my childhood time, I will ask, why do we need to pray five times a day? Why? Why my God? I cannot see my God, for example. Alright, why should I abide on the rules that like coming from Quran that we cannot see our God? Najitra? So this is the unassuming any identity. Okay? So the any identity is when you search for it. Why should we abide by our God, for example? We cannot see them. But we always believe that He always see us. Every single one of us. From the day we are born until the day we are die. Okay, and then why we should believe in terms of the Quran, for example. So for a Christian people, why Bible is for them? Don't you have another sacred writings for you to, how to say, follow, to refer to. And then the last point is the ethnic achievement lah. The ethnic achievement, individual have a clear and confident understanding of their own cultural identity. This is the part where you already understand your religion or your race or your ethnicity. Alright, for example, in terms of Malay. Alright, we have this identity where you are not allowed to sing when you are cooking. If you do that, you will have or you will marry with the old person or you're going to get a husband. Alright, so why? Basically, it's just an advice or a warning saying that you, you should focus in terms of your cooking to make sure that what you are cooking is cooked properly right got nothing to do but in terms of malay society malay understanding malay proverbs and that's how we believe in terms of that okay so identity can be divided into two a scrap and a vow identity a scrap is you are not volunteer nanda korea joey and your geese listen all right a scrap identity is basically you want to marry a whole husband ah. You want a husband ah, you guys. <laughs> Alright. A scrap identity is involuntary. You are born that way. You cannot change. If you are born into an Indian family, you are Indian until you die. You cannot change. But in terms of religion-wise, you can. So the, so the scrap identity is only focusing in terms of genetic-wise and genetic only. Alright. Anything that you cannot change. Even though you change your face, your gaze, you go and do, how to say, operation and you make yourself white and become like G-Dragon, alright, you're still a yogish. alright. Best example we can see is, how to say, Michael Jackson lah. Wey, Joey, how come you eat in class and you don't give anything to me? My god, I'm really hungry, you know. <sighs> sure, I don't want whole husband. Wayne is single, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Next is avow identity. So, this is basically... You participate in terms of that. Alright. You enroll. You voluntarily do it. And etc. Okay. So, the example is... College student is avow confirmed because you want to choose to enroll to the college. That's why in terms of Chinese school, Malay school... Eh, sorry. Uh, government school is different. 
star you see, KDU, INTI, you know, rules are different, classes are different, lecturers are different, ways of teaching are different, and etc. Okay, this is about identity. So these two, ascribe identity and about identity, come from these seven elements. Okay, come from these seven elements. So that's why if you take a look in terms of UITM student comparing to USM student, for example. UITM are focusing more on practicality while USM are focusing more on research, for example. Okay, so that's why when you want to continue your degree letter, you have to find a university according to what you want. If you want to become a lecturer or researcher, for example, in the future, you go to USM because they are focusing more in terms of research ways. But if you want to focus in terms of industry, why you find any, 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 all right, any university that focusing in terms of practicality. Okay, next, and establishing and enacting cultural identity. The communication employed to create an enact identity can take a variety of forms, including conversational, commemoration of history, music, dance, ritual, ceremony, and social dramas of all sorts. This is we take a look in terms of a very bigger picture. Lah. All right, a very bigger picture. What makes, how to say, the history of people in Indonesia are totally different compared to history in Malaysia. That leads to the way of their lifestyle based on their rules and regulation and based on their the do's and the don'ts. Right, for example, if you take a look in terms of Ukraine, uh, the coronavirus incident, alright, only one person, how to say, tested positive, they locked down. But if you take a look in terms of the Malaysian-wise, we have many cases, and still we have to go to classes, we have to go to work, and etc. Okay, why this is coming from? A bigger picture, alright? Every single element of individuals creating the reason why we are living our life today and etc. Okay. Next, identities are also established and displayed in cultural rights resources of, of passages. Lah. So the example, Muslim women wear tudong. Alright, in terms of this, when Muslim women wear tudong, it's basically not wearing tudong. <laughs> Everyone will die one day, your guess. It's either earlier or later, and the reason why you I die. Alright, that's the main point. So when you live, when you are currently living your life, live to the fullest. Alright. So in terms of wearing tudong, it's basically not compulsory wearing tudong. So that's why I put there, tudong. Alright. They just have to cover their head. That's it. If you want to pakai tudong saji or kota or whatever, we don't care so much. Basically, Islam don't, Islam don't care so much, basically. As long as you wear what you need to wear to to, to, to ara or cover your ara lah. Hindu woman wear a red dot. Yogis, what does it mean by Hindu woman wearing a red dot or having that red dot on their forehead? Yogis? Yogis? Tell me. Why? Red dot means what? Black dot means what? Yogi, okay, so you're an Indian, you should know. Ah. Yes, for married women. Okay? So this is based on the culture. Okay? This is what makes a culture related to identity wise all right so basically we are currently at the last yeah good red is for married black is for non-married but what if you are divorced or your husband pass away do you wear anything is it white can steam give present I don't know. Uh, star, I guess. You have to buy the Facebook star, then you have to share, I guess. Maybe by doing that, you can give a gift. I think so. If you are hard to say, opening using your phone. Hi, Yusuf. Aku tengah kelas ni. Saya dah nak habis dah. Alright. And the last point and the last slide is identity in intercultural uh, interaction lah. Identity is the focal element in intercultural communication to avoid misunderstanding and conflict. This is what makes you 
think before you talk. You guys think before you talk. How to talk to a female, Malay female, Hindu female, and how to say Chinese female. Let's say you are Malay, for example. All right, you want to talk to a Chinese Malay that living in rural area, for example. All right, the way you talk, the way you behave, the way your body language turn, and how to say the kind of sentences that you use and tone whenever you go into. Inform them or talk to them and etc. Next is search for a middle ground when communicating with each other, and this requires much flexibility and adaptation. All right. For example, if you take a look in terms of television, now uh, if you take a look in terms of Netflix, iFlix, YouTube, you can see vulgar language so much. Let's say Bodo, for example, Bodo in terms of this streaming uh, social media is considered as something normal. All right, not vulgar language and etc. Hi, Bunkai. Okay, so vulgar language in terms of social media. Oh, sorry. My game notification come up. All right. So basically, where are we just now? Ah, yes. So basically, when you uh in terms of television newspaper, they use general language. Hi. Yes. Thank you. You can also join, but I have to do this online class because we are. In the lockdown for one week for our college, alright. So flexibility adaptation. So that's why, if you are coming from Penang and you go to Sarawak, but when you communicating with a Malay a Malay individual, alright, you already have a common ground, alright. What kind of language that is acceptable? What kind of language that is not acceptable? But then it becoming a problem, alright, when you want to go something in the mid ah uh, to details because of regional identity. Some language, alright. Some language. Uh, in Penang cannot be used in Sarawak, while some language in Sarawak cannot be used in Penang and etc. For example, ah, uh, as per mentioned to you during my study time, alright. In terms of Penang, alright, we use hang, aku, alright, bodo, lembap. It's considered as something normal. But when I communicate with my classmate before, alright, when I say, why are you so slow or why are you so lembap, for example. And the female cry because according to her, based on her regional identity where she's coming from, according to her geographical area, that is considered as a vulgar language or a rude language. Or another example that we can use is hang aku and etc. If you talk with KL people, if you talk with Pahang people, and etc. That is considered as rude. Okay, so that's why in terms of Malay society, we have this understanding. Penang citizen, we are not rude. We just talk harshly, lah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and the last point is, if you are able to focus on all these elements based on the previous thirteen slide, minus how to say your introduction slide, alright, one has demonstrated the principal component components of intercultural communication competence. Alright, this is what makes in terms of how to become a good Malaysian. For example, yes, yes, Ben, it's like that word correct. When you are communicating with Indian, it's acceptable. But in terms of that word, also is different when you are focusing in terms of Brahman and Brahmin, lah. Alright. So basically, you have to understand that. Alright. Maybe Brahman in Pahang compared to Brahman in Penang is different, and etc. So in terms of this, we go back to the last point. Okay. In terms of motivation, you can take a look in terms of if you are a good Malaysian. When this is come to coronavirus incident, alright. When the KKM Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia ask you to sit. At your house, don't go out. Please don't do anything stupid, lah. All right, and then don't fall for that. How to say A Asia? I'm using Asia. I'm not how to say condemning them, but in terms of them, I think they are crap. All right, how can they make like seventy percent off for you to go to Korea and etc. Ah, oh, that is really stupid. So if you are really a good Malaysian, and then you want to make sure that Malaysian can fight this coronavirus thing, or make sure that we can have. A good lifestyle and harmonious lifestyle of Malaysian, you're going to have that motivation, lah. And in terms of knowledge, this is the part where your gauge when you want to talk to me as a teacher and when you want to talk to me as an ex student is different. So that's why. All right, if you realize in terms of class, when we are face to face, I don't care so much how you're going to talk. All right, as long as I see your language, I see your tones, 
as something acceptable, something respectful. But when you email me or when you WhatsApp me, if you yo yo me, I block block you lah. Simple as that. Okay, because why manners play an important part in terms of this. And another thing you have to remember in terms of writing, you don't have tone. When you don't have tone, you cannot understand the definition of that word. For example, woi. Alright. Hi, Siwe. Hey, you guys don't have class ah, coming to my class. Okay. So, in terms of this, alright, the knowledge play an important part to make sure that you're not going to talk wrongly. You're not going to use bad languages. Maybe for you is something normal, but for some people it's not so think properly lah. And the last one is skill on how, you know, to ensure that you can become a good Malaysian and a good individual lah. Okay, so I think we are done with our class today. All of the 14 slide. So do you want to go for chapter 9 or we going to continue in the next class? Hi you. Come, come, come. Respond to me. We continue or we finish? Alright, so we are done. So because we are done, I would like you to write your name here and then like again this stream so that I know you are here so that I can, how to say, update your attendance later. Come. Write down your name, your student ID. Hey, show your student ID ah. Ah, right, student ID lah, much more easier. Right, you student ID then. How uh, to say, I'll end the class. Yeah, I'm going for my lunch later after this class. Write your full name and your nickname so that I know which one is you and your student ID. Okay, while we are waiting ah. Uh, do you guys have uh, any question regarding your assignment wise? Wayne, write together Wayne, your name and your student ID. Alright. Shmin, Emilia, Kain, Yapchi, Lu Mingpei, Yogish. Are we done? Alright, Joey. Where's Xiao Pei and Triple C? Eh? Xiao Weizun, Maverick, Li Weiliang. Okay. Mm-hmm. So guys, while you guys are writing your name, any question about your assignment wise? No. Because we need to do presentation this week in terms of tutorial class, but I do not know how to do it. So, I will come back to you later when I already have the answer. Okay. So, either we postpone it or you going to have to record it lah. Bye-bye, Kain. See you tomorrow. So you then, huh?
Alright, I think that's the last person. Cannot postpone lah, Thailand. Alright, bye-bye, Jay. See you tomorrow. Have fun. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, to my class. Bye-bye.